535 is a card climbing or shitting game where you're trying to be the first to empty your hand of cards by playing them to a single, ever-changing central meld on the table. The deck makeup in 535 is unique, with cards ranging from 1 to 15, but missing all cards of 6 and 10 ranks. These missing cards create segments in the deck makeup a low rank run of five cards, a middle rank of three cards, and a high ranked run of five cards. The game is played over multiple rounds, and you're trying to have the least amount of points at the game's end. Each round, playing your last cards before other players do, is your goal since you'll get zero points for that round if you're successful. When a round ends, each card remaining in a player's hands will score the point value shown on them, which is exactly what you're trying to avoid. Each round consists of multiple tricks where a player will lead cards. They might play a single card, and the other players can overwrite it by playing a single card that has a higher strength, like this 5 beating the lead 2. The next player might also overwrite the 5 with an 11. But instead, you'll have the option to add cards to the central meld, like another 11, making it a set of 11s. If you can't or don't want to play cards, you can pass. The trick continues until all but one player has passed, or the maximum amount of cards are in the central meld, which would leave nothing able to beat what's currently in play. The cards are cleared, and a new trick is led by whoever made the last play. But you don't always have to lead with a single card, because you can play one, two, or three cards on any turn you take. This makes it possible to play a set of the same number, like these three sevens. Or maybe a run like a 12 and a 13. The round will continue until a player has played their last card, at which point the round ends immediately, forcing all other players to score points equal to the point value shown on the card still in their hand. Once any player has 20 or more points after scoring, the player with the fewest points wins. 535 is an approachable game that's easy to learn and get into, but there's layers of depth to the strategy. For example, when playing single cards or sets, the 1s are the lowest in strength and the 15s are the highest. But in runs, the 1s are the highest strength, and the 15s are the lowest. This delivers interesting choices no matter which cards you're dealt, and it levels the playing field as there aren't any inherently good or bad cards, it's just a matter of how you use them. Also, the points you're trying to avoid are higher on the lowest and highest ranked cards, creating more pressure to play them, but at the same time, you're also trying to find the right time strategically in the round to get rid of them out of your hand. On top of that, there are 8s, which are special cards, but the only middle ranked card. If one or more 8s is used to add or overwrite the central meld, they allow a player to clear the trick immediately, allowing them to take the lead as a strategic part of the round. But beware, the 8s also have the highest point values in the game. 535 is for 2 to 6 players, takes 15 to 25 minutes to play, and is for ages 8 and up. Originally released in 2020, 535 has never been available outside of Japan. This updated North American edition is published by Portland Game Collective, and for the first time ever features English rules. It features remixed art, newly added reference cards, and point chips, all of which were not included in the original Japanese edition. It's on Kickstarter right now, so click the link below to be brought to the project page.